Yo, bro. welcome to another episode of In the Life of Mighty Family. We have another uh, ba unbagging, I guess. It's not unboxing, it's unbagging. And um, this, uh, this item here is something that I've had my eyes on for a little bit. And, uh, I, you know, Fanatics, as usual, they do, they do sales just about all the time. And they did a pretty decent sale after Christmas. And I had some different, I was able to stack it with some other stuff from my discover reward whatever you know different stuff I was able to stack to get this pretty pretty get a really really good deal so um, sometimes you know you, you wait it's a good thing sometimes if you wait you miss out on it it's just a Russian roulette game that we all play here in the collecting world but this time it it, it, it you know waiting worked so there was only two left in my size according to fanatics so I, I, I knew it was time to move on it. And it was kind of weird because I had it in my cart, and then all of a sudden it wasn't in my cart. So I thought it sold out in that size, which is 2X. And then, but it was still available on the site in the 2X, and there were still two available. So I put it back in the cart, and sure enough, it stayed in the cart, which is, that's, a, you know, you do have to kind of, with Fanatics, it's, uh, you have to kind of maneuver around sometimes to, you know, make sure you get your item. Um, oops. Yeah, as, as uh, per usual with Fanatics, they, they drop a uh, little, some sort of uh, discount in here. And it's, uh, it's a wine voucher and also 20% off future purchase. So, um, but here it is. It's another jacket. This is a Mitchell Ness jacket that's not on their website. I guess this was a Fanatics exclusive or, you know, the Fanatic Umbrella exclusive. Because I, the first time I saw this was on this team's shop, which, again, was run by Fanatics. And then it was on Lids and Fanatics. And I got it on Fanatics because they were having the best deal at the time. And... Uh, uh, this is a very cool looking jacket and it, it it's the logo of this team that I like the most and it's the colors of this team that I like the most and uh, so I knew this one was right for me now sometimes they have that tissue paper stuff yeah they have the tissue paper <laughs> all the wonderful tissue paper for the logo I guess they always put on there but it's a it's a bomber jacket of the Minnesota Timberwolves so there you go, there's the wolves on the front, which is kind of a throwback looking, you know, jacket, like to the starter days from back in the day. They also had a, a wolves jacket that was just all blue with just the wolves on the front, but nothing else. And that's certainly a throwback, you know, to the, to the starter days uh, back in the 90s and such. And then on the back, it's got the big logo, the old Timberwolves logo, which you see again this season because they're celebrating their anniversary year, and they brought that kind of look back, which I still have an Anthony Edwards jersey that's supposed to come in at some point. <laughs> the uh, the white throwback, because I always liked their old jerseys. Um, and Ant-Man, certainly a very good young player. But there's the wolf right there, the timber wolf, kind of, you know, with the ball. I always liked that logo. And... Um, you know, I, I, you know, I have it on a shoot-around jacket, the, the home shoot-around jacket I got years ago, the Mitchell Ness one. Um, and when I saw this on a bomber-style jacket, which is probably my favorite kind of jacket, I knew I had to have it. Because you just, you don't see this logo, at least I don't. You know, and I don't live in Minnesota or anything, so maybe there's more there. But I don't see this logo on this type of jacket very often. And I'm a, I'm a logo guy, so I like my jackets with a big logo on the back. And it's two col dual colors, so you got the white sleeves going down. It's really got that old school starter look, which is what I really like about these bomber jackets that Mitchell Ness makes. And you got the cuff sleeves. And I know starter still makes jackets too, but again, the stripes on the neck area. I just thought this was a really solid looking, you know, jacket. The first time I saw it, 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 it I mean, I, it stopped me. Like, I, I, I actually, the first time I saw this was on some sort of ad. You know, because whenever you navigate anything on, on the internet, you get the ads on all the different, you know, 
in this case, it was Instagram. And this was the first thing that popped up on the ad. And I went, ooh. <laughs> and it just kind of stopped me from scrolling. And I clicked on it, and it was the Wolves, you know, uh, fanatic store or whatever it was. But it was for the Wolves. And this jacket was there. And I, I, I was... I, I was I don't know how I didn't pull the trigger right then and there because I instantly loved this jacket and I'm glad it hung around a little bit. Uh, I was able, like I said, I was able to get to, to stack a few things. Plus, Fanatics was having a decent deal, and um, so I got this jacket for a really good price. And uh, definitely going to be giving it wears. Um, shout out to uh, to Jake, the Minnesota sports fan, of course. I know he's a big, you know, Wolves fan. Um, Jake. But you, you, I don't know if you have this. <laughs> Maybe he does. You never. Jake's tricky. You never know. Jake, all of a sudden, he'll, he'll have stuff. So, um, But no, this is uh, definitely a, a, a must for me. I know A-Rock. Shout out to A-Rock. He was a Wolves fan. And he always did the jacket, jersey, hat, combo, wombo. So at some point, in honor of A-Rock, I'm going to have Because I have lots of Wolves jerseys from this era. And hats, of course. So at some point, I'm going to have to... Keep it way too real with the uh, Ode to A-Rock with my, my my humble little bomber jacket collection and put jerseys and hats with it the way A-Rock would have done back in the day. Um, but anyhow, that is it. This is the latest and greatest bomber jacket from yours truly. The Minnesota Timberwolves, the 90s, you know, stock colors, the late 80s into the 90s, you know, when they came in the league. Colors, Wolves on the front. Again, that big, beautiful logo. Timberwolf on the back. Love it. This is, again, my favorite, one of my favorite all-time sports logos. I, I like wolves in general. And you know, obviously, we, we all know about foxes. I mean, you know. <laughs> I wish there was some sort of team with a fox that I can get a bomber jacket for. But um, whales, too. But land animals, it's got to be wolves and, and, and foxes. They're both, they're cousins, actually. They're in the Canid family. So, <laughs> the wolf is the big cousin of the fox. But, um, yeah, so I always like the timber wolves. You know, I, I, I do wish that they were incorporate the wolf more in their look. Like, I know for all the City Connect, you know, or the edition stuff, it's always something with the lakes or something else. But I'd like to see a wolf on the jersey someday. I know they've never done it, but I think it would look super cool if they can even do some sort of embossed looking howling wolf or something on the front of the jersey i mean obviously that would be an insta buy for me so you know that that goes without saying but uh you know but i'm glad to see this logo this logo making the rounds a little more this season with their anniversary year it's been on some stuff there was also like a shoot around shirt that i saw with it on the front but they didn't have my size and i'm like damn i would have liked that one <laughs> But I think there's some other things. I think the Mitchell and Ness has come up with some, you know, shirts. And I do have, I do have like a vintage T-shirt, and I have a hoodie with the wolves from with that logo on there. And of course, I have the the, the home and away shorts that Mitchell and Ness made with the logo, you know, the, the swingman shorts and uh, hats. So this is the first jacket, the actual jacket. I have the shoot around jacket. But that's really something you can only really wear in like the springtime. It's a light jacket, you know, it's just a shoot around jacket. But I have the white, the home version, and now this one, of course, would be the bomber jacket that I can wear more in the in the winter and you know early spring, I guess late fall. Of course, mostly when I wear a jacket, it's gonna be one of the Philly teams. But every now and then I might throw on something else. You know, I got that that Mighty Ducks jacket. I got the Wolves jacket, and there's actually another jacket. Uh, Mitchell Ness bomber jacket that I really like and it takes me back to the 90s at some point at some point I want to get it uh, I don't know when you know probably have to catch another deal down the road but this is a beautiful jacket and it's just straight out the 90s and I never got that jacket back in the day and I did want it back in the day and I just didn't you know get it but uh you know I'm not saying I'm gonna have a bomber jacket collection like the jersey <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna match all of my jerseys and hats with jackets. That 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 I don't. There there's no room. <laughs> there would be no way I could do that. But there are a couple teams that I would like their bomber style jacket because I love the logo, the colors, what have you. And this other one is on my hit list. Again, I don't know when. 
or if I get it, we're going to have to see. But when, when I do, you know there'll be an unbagging at that point. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. So there it is. The Minnesota Timberwolves 90s, I would say late 80s into the 90s style colors and logo uh, bomber jacket by Mitchell and Ness. And I haven't seen it anywhere on Mitchell and Ness. Like I said, I haven't, it wasn't in their store. It wasn't on their site. So it must be like a Fanatics exclusive from them. You know, and they do that. You know, you have like lids exclusive with Mitchell and Ness with some hats and other apparel and attire that you, you might find on a Fanatics or lids or the team shop that you just, that aren't at Mitchell and Ness. And all teams do it. So it's not, you know, just Minnesota. But, uh, but it's cool. So that's why you always have to look around. Or sometimes you just get surprised by some ad that pops up in your while you're scrolling on uh, Instagram or something like that. Because <laughs> like I said, that's where I saw it a, a, a bit bit back. Um, so anyhow, there it is in the fold. Hope you all enjoy. Um, I will probably have a vehicle vlog out tomorrow. I did have plans to go somewhere today. I didn't get there. So I'm going to try to get there tomorrow and be back in time to watch the Eagles game, of course. Uh, the 1 o'clock start against Arizona. Hopefully, I'm going to be dealing with some traffic probably, but we'll fight the fight <laughs> and try to get home uh, in time to watch. My birds play the Arizona birds, so we'll see. We need a win. We need a win. We need to keep winning. Um, so I'll probably do a vehicle vlog. I'll probably do it on the way to where I'm going tomorrow, which is a local mall. I mean, what else is new, right? That there's a hat I have to get, and it's at this one, I, this one place I saw it. And I'm hoping it's still there. I didn't get it originally when my buddies from California were over. But that's when I saw it. And I'm like, oh, oh, man. I hope this is still around when I can more easily move on it. Not to say that it's easily to move on anything right now for me. But I, I, can, make, I can make it work for a hat, you know. Um, so I will be doing a vehicle vlog tomorrow. And uh, aside from that, um, I am going to start the series probably New Year's Day. I figure the first of the year is probably a perfect time to do it, where I'm re-showing the collection, uh, rack by rack, video by video. And I might do a video or two of that a month until it's done. And I'm starting upstairs because that's where it gets hot during the summer, <laughs> the spring and summer months. So I want to uh, get that out of the way first. And that's where most of the jerseys are anyhow. So I'm going to start that, restart that series. And I know I did it during the COVID, you know, time. I'm going to restart that on New Year's Day. At least that's the plan. And I'll start with baseball and then we'll, we'll just keep moving, you know, until I get through all of them. Um, so again, it's, it's just a way for me to catalog the collection and, um, you know, for you, the viewer, to see what I have. Nothing's for sale, so don't ask, please. Uh, those questions go uh, either with a no or I just ignore it. Um, but again, it's, this is my way of cataloging the collection to date. Um, and I might do it every few years just to kind of, okay, this is where I stand now. This is where I stand as of, you know, 2024, as of 2026, as of 2028, you know, what have you. And uh, people seem to enjoy it. I mean, I still, my most, my, my most watched video is the one from... I, I think 2020 or 21, I forget, it was one of those years, and I was showing the, the, the current run Mitchell and Ness jerseys on the big Z bottom rack, the China run and Vietnam run jerseys, and that video has like 20, what, 22, 23,000 views. <laughs> it, it got in the YouTube algorithm, and, and even to this day, I still get comments on that video, and that's from how many years ago, right? So it's just crazy. It's like how certain videos just kind of, get in there and uh, get get a lot of attention. But realistically for me, it's just a way for me to catalog what I have. But again, I'm going to start that in earnest on New Year's Day. And then we'll take it from there. Uh, like I said, vehicle vlog tomorrow. We'll start that, re redo the series of the of the, uh, the Jersey cataloging on New Year's Day. So you're going to see plenty of Mighty Fan over the next you know few, few days, whether you want to or not. But hey, what do you always got to do? You got to leave those likes. You got to make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already done so, hit the, hit the bell icon so you get notified to Vehicle Vlog, Mighty Fans Collection, Vids, 
season of the fan, whatever it is, right? In the life, of course. You, you never want to miss an episode, so you always want to be alerted to the next video. So make sure that you hit that bell icon so you can do so. All right, everyone. Well, I will see you again shortly here on YouTube. Y'all take care and uh, have a good one.